Welcome to the channel. This is Charlie with Rookie Farmer. Today I got my 530, uh, Ford 530 uh, hay baler behind me. We're going to go through a knot tying routine, make sure everything's functioning. We're coming up on hay season. So uh, I'm going to go through it, show you uh, what I do, and hopefully this will help you out. So stand by and we'll get started. All right, here we are. I have already ran a cycle through i tied my strings off in here make sure you run it when you thread it through your uh your needles you go underneath this bar and then tie it off on both sides so we are good it's already been cycled through and what i've done is i've pulled some slack and you can see in here and i got a bungee cord tied to both lines and then the bungee cord is hooked here at the end. That's simulating that we have a bale already made. So you'll see some rough stuff. That's generally normal. That's from when the when the wiper clears it off after it cuts, etc. So as you can see, the top line is already resting up against the bill hook. And the bill hook, hopefully you can see it, is this silver thing right here. Hopefully you can see it, the sun in my eyes. Or behind me there so it gives off a glare so maybe this will help a little better this is the bill hook right here so you can see the line on top what would be the top of the bale over the top of it right now um, and then the line is in the uh, let me make sure that it's clear in the tracks here because it would be normally underneath the bale and then wrapping around the back side of it and coming up through so what we're going to do is we're going to trip like we just made a bale and then we'll come back up here and rotate this thing which takes quite a bit turning creaking and sounds like a old witchcraft movie or something and then what you'll do is you'll watch it and then it'll start to move once it's uh, there we go slash so now the arm starts to move and then as it comes around we get let's try to take a look right here all right the needle is just now starting to come out the top right here so we're going to rotate some more And then the twi twine finger is yet to engage, but it will. Now the twine finger should be engaged. Oh, it's starting to engage, but it's already uh, as working as functioning is correctly. Um, generally, the twine finger is uh, there to make sure that the string does go back. So we are now moving up into position. You can see both lines are taut up against the, the, right here, against the bill hook. See both lines right there, tied up against it. It's on both sides. Can't really see that one very easy. So we're just going to work off this side. I'm not having problems with this machine. I'm just checking the functionality of it. So we're going to continue to rotate. Go a little bit more and you can see they're still in the same position a little bit more. still there the needles now have both lines in the uh in this timing slot and this is your wiper so it's in there you see on that side both lines basically when it cuts does a cutting cycle this assembly right here holds your string and holds it really tightly so it doesn't come out and cause you have a missed tie so that string is very tight in there that's why sometimes you see excess hanging out but it is it is uh, smashed in there basically held between the plates and it's locked in um, so at this point we're going to keep rotating now that it has both both strings in the groove we're good here Go a little bit more. See what that does. All right. 
yeah, we're still both of them are on there the needles still coming up but I think it's about done with its travel all right now it's coming down all right so now you see the bill hook is turning and now it's facing down so that's good the twine finger did its job by keeping the string forward so that the bill hook would be able to grab it but this was already a bailed a simulated bail uh, right here a bale hay that we were simulating with the bungee cord so now it's going to go through its tying sequence so we'll rotate a little bit at a time so you can see it the arms coming down see how the bill hook is spinning around it's hard to see on the other side but it's in the same position naturally it's timed so spin a little bit more all right and see the bill hook opens i don't know if you can see it in this video but as it's rotated around the bill hook opens so those lines that are caught up here that just got spun around as you can see here's the wiper it wiped away some extra junk there's the extra from the wiper so what now that the bill hook is open the strings that are up here are going to go in between the bill hook so we'll rotate that again there's a little bit more hopefully not too much so now you see the string is in the bill hook from the top feed like that and you can see it's now in the cutting stage so it holds it right there and it's getting ready to cut the line you can see the blade which hopefully you can see with my finger right here that's the blade it's resting up against the uh, twine right now so we'll give it a little bit more i heard it cut it voila and then the secondary function there's a wiper on this cutter bar arm here and basically it's wiping the knot off of the bill hook and the hook itself is still holding behind it that piece of line that went up this way so as it wipes it off it's pulling that through it to create the knot so we'll continue to go with it voila it's done we'll just run ahead and run the uh, thing up until it resets it did reset we're done that cycle is complete so now our there's one knot right there this sometimes is a pain in the butt and it looks like oh it's still got to go thought it was done Oh, it didn't cut it. Oh, yeah, it did. It's just hanging by a little thread. All right, so the knives are sharp on here. What It doesn't normally cut very well when you're going this super slow, rotating it. You got to imagine it's, it's running in upwards, what, 50 to 80 cycles a minute. Um, so as far as how this thing works, so the turnover, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> All right the turnover time is much faster than what it's doing it's cutting crappy edges but you can see it's got a fair amount of twine still above the knot the knot's not tight because a we don't have the correct tension that we would normally have when we're bailing but you can see it does have uh, the twine poking out there so that's basically how you run a knotter cycle to make sure that uh, your knotter is working correctly um, so the bungee cord is important uh, to order to make that work or someone here holding it while you uh, holding the line holding them tight to simulate a bale of hay that's in order to make that work so now she's done uh, you can see up in there the fresh line coming from the spools is sitting here so it's waiting for the the uh, piston or the ram to start packing more hay in 
henceforth bringing that line back around doing the same thing basically simulating with the uh, bungee cord so it's going to keep packing while this line is being held in position and it would do the cycle all over again so that's it um, just making sure that the functionality of it is correct um, uh, please like and subscribe if you have any questions want to know something want to see uh, a video about something please drop it in the, uh, the description let me know you know again i'm not a professional i haven't been doing this very long i'm just doing this the hard way figuring it all out looking at the manual etc but anyways uh, please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one